What you're looking at is a uh, roof-mounted solar tracking solar array. We've got two stepper motors uh, in a home-built apparatus that we do pan and tilt movement with. We've got photoresistor sensors that track east and west and north and south, uh, do a voltage comparator circuit between, between those values and cause the, uh, the panels to move in their corresponding direction. We kind of approached this from like three different methods. We did manual control just with a potentiometer as a knob, with two potentiometers as knobs. And then we also did a sensing mode that Pete described that uses an array of photoresistors here at the top, uh, which can track the sun. And we also did it through a calculated method where you can find the position of the sun using the azimuth and zenith. So the first mode is the sensing mode. So. And so yeah, right now it's trying to figure out where in this room the best light source is. So yeah, that's about right there. And you can also test it with like a light. So yeah, so it'll follow like the lights. And yeah. So yeah, you can use that to get it for the lights. It does kind of take a minute for the photoresistors to reach their final value. Manual control, which is pretty much just we just have these two little knobs and you can use them to like find, you know, like if you just wanted to find the position yourself, or just we also kind of used it for like testing and stuff. The calculated mode, um, often equation to find the sun based on the latitude and longitude of four columns, and then it uses the current time and the current day, and then it finds the zenith angle from above and the azimuth angle. Initialize the calculated mode, then it just does like the daily sweep, so you can kind of see what the kind of what the path will be for that day, and then it goes to the correct time and location. So, so yeah, so it's starting. It starts right at dawn, and then it sweeps over until dusk. You know, just so you can kind of see what its functionality is, and then that would be at like right at like 9 a.m. where the sun would be. So. So then for our controls, we're using the Raspberry Pi for pretty much all of our <coughs> controls. Uh, it, yeah, so it uses a HD converter for the analog uh, voltages from the photosensors and also from the potentiometers. And it uses that to find the correct location. And that also controls the LCD and the sound. And then we just have two picks one of which does the rotating position and the other does the tilt position. 